You know what time it is, right? Summer, summer, summer time. Ooh, summertime. Let's just sit back and unwind. Summertime vibes is here. We need our freshies. We need our mass appeal. We need our citruses. We need 10 designer fragrances that are going to be absolute hits for the summertime. So I've compiled that 10 designer list for that ass. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to 10 delicious freshies that you need for this summer. Hey, Listen, one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, this is your boy, c 3 u 3 to a I'm feeling summertime vibes right now, only I'm not wearing any pants because I want to air it all out. It is musty, it is hot in New York City, so we need a fragrance to invigorate and give you life. And the first fragrance that I'm picking up is so against the grain when it comes to summertime fragrances. It is not a fragrance that you traditionally see on these lists, nor a fragrance that gets mentioned very often by most content creators. Why? Because it's kind of an OG fragrance. It's a fragrance that has a lot of life, but it has a youthful OG vibe to it. Now, Hugo Boss really pulled out a beautiful woody tobacco note, like pipe tobacco out of this fragrance, but still kept a beautiful tart citrusy opening, which makes this fragrance absolutely gorgeous for the summer, only for the classy dudes, and that's Baldi Sarini by Hugo Boss. Now, this is an eau de cologne, which usually means a little lighter than most fragrances, which is perfectly fine. Most fragrances in the summertime really have a struggle, a little bit of a lackluster when it comes to the performance factor. However, this one is kind of like boardroom sexy summertime vibe. There's a lot of dudes who be rocking suits all year round, especially at the boardroom. Some of them have to be a little bit sure that they're not unsure. So they want something grown, sexy, very sophisticated that can transition to the after work. But this is something that might have to be reapplied as it's not a mass projection beast, but it's a gorgeous linen suit wearing individual, very corporate, chic, and fresh. I can't just automatically assume that everybody who watches me is a street pharmacist. <laughs> There's some corporate people who do follow me, and Baldi Serini is made just for you. Next one. The next fragrance I've mentioned time and time again as the BMW Manhattan Waiting Area fragrance, and that's Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Aromatic therapy fragrance of all time. The sea salt or the Himalayan sea salt for me really smells like kind of like a wispy sun crashing wave in the middle of, well, not Orchard Beach or Jones Beach, because that's ratchet as shit and there's like needles and crack vials still on the floor. I mean, it feels like it's 1990 again with all the resurgence of like fucking tie-offs and shit like that all over the beach. But this is what the times that we're living in. What do you want me to tell you? This is therapeutic. This will bring you back to reality with this beautiful, sweet, sagey, slightly medicinal, and I mean the slightest medicinal, but it's more sweet Himalayan sea salt freshness that if they make candles of this, I should have 40 of them because it smells Perfect for the summer. Next one. This next one is a fuckboy special. All my Latinos uptown NYC be wearing this fragrance. This is a staple for most dudes who wear above the knee white shorts with some slip on loafers and a shirt that only has two and a half buttons and that's Versace Al Fresh. Woody, sexy, mass appeal as fuck, it really hits all corners. And the fact of the matter is not everybody lives in my demographic area, so this is not going to be an exhausting fragrance for you to wear. On the contrary, it's gonna be something stellar, beautiful, bright, super sexy for you to wear because you are not in the ratchetness that I am in. So you definitely will get all the compliment factor that you're looking for out of this fragrance. Now, if you live in the hoods area like I do, then you already know that this is kind of played out, but I can negate the fact that the shit is good. Next one. The next fragrance is a beautiful summertime fragrance with its own unique qualities about it. Super budget friendly, and I'm never mad when I gotta pull this puppy out, and that's by Tommy Bahamas, and that's St. Kitts. This fragrance is known for its beautiful saltiness and that bright star fruit note, which is not something that you commonly find in most manly fragrances, but this is just epic. This is yacht boat weather kind of joint. This is a fly ass fragrance for you to rock in the summertime. Budget is shit. Shop it around. You can find it for a significantly cheap price, but it's woody, it's salty, it's sweet, it's sexy, it's mass appeal. It has a decent amount of projection off the skin, at least off of my skin, that really works beautifully. Let me take a whiff of this joint because it's been a minute since I really... Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Get it. 
next one. The next fragrance, I just love this shit. It just smells so spectacular. Nobody gives a shit about this fragrance because they really don't check for it. And if it doesn't have a big hype train behind it, nobody cares. And this is Givenchy's Gentleman Only. It's like a perfect spicy cedar fragrance for the summertime. It's got woody elements and some sharp woods to be exact, but I feel that the sharp wood elements here help provide the performance factor. It helps that layering, helps that thickness on the skin to help it last because most summertime fragrances don't have balls. This has fantastic balls. It's got peppery, it's got woody, it's got spicy, it's got bright, it's delicious, it's slept on like a motherfucker. It's got a classiness. It's just an overall banger for not too much money. Beautiful designer fragrance and if you know, you know next one. Another cheap fragrance that in some websites is as low as like $21. This is by the house of Azaro and that's Chrome Pure fragrance smells like a watery coconut that was just cracked open and cleaned out. Beautifully citric, a little bit of suntan lotion, Hawaiian tropic type of vibe with a sharp woodiness and some spiciness as well. This is a beautiful kind of milky, I don't know, like not milky, but yeah, no, I'm gonna use milky, kind of milky consistency, like something you could just lather on and smell spectacular. Very sexy, very budget friendly, amazing for the summer. Try it. It's 20 something dollars. It's like a coffee at five bucks. Next one. Now we're getting into some monsters. This motherfucker right here is absolutely spectacular by the house of Yves Saint Laurent. And this is why Al Fresh. This for me is outdoor rooftop party. They popped the umbrella open. They brought out the ceviche. You had a couple of mimosas. You're slowly transitioning to some harder alcohol. Or maybe you decide to just float around with a little mojito vibes. You got a little bit of a citrus aquatic kind of Italian icy vibe on this fragrance, but more so it has more of a sex appeal, staying with the YSL Y demographic as far as mass appeal, youthful party vibes, just with the summertime edge. There is no purpose for you to be indoors when you're wearing this fragrance. You better be half ass naked with a baddie next to you, outside under an umbrella, letting your balls breathe with no drawers, wearing this shit cause it's lit. Next one. Now speaking of Italian icy, Dior Om Cologne is just that. This is that, what is it, Mil not Milano. Milano, is it Milano? Marino, 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 something like that. The little yellow cup that you scrape with the wooden spoon that you possibly get a sprinter on your tongue when you're rubbing it if they don't do it right. Absolutely stellar. And it actually performs fairly decent on my skin in the summertime, which is very unusual because this is just screams. Lemony, citrusy, beauty, bright, aquatic, sick, with okay performance. I'm just pleasantly surprised because my skin is just not the greatest when it comes to absorbing some of these fragrances and this one smells absolutely stellar. You still get that Dior own vibe as far as a little bit of the lipsticky vibe, a little bit of the Dior DNA, but it really takes on a personality of its own and smells just incredible for the summer. This is just summertime. Next one. Young Bucks ready to fuck? Invictus Aqua. Let's just go. Come on, don't even talk to me about nothing else. This. I don't know what to tell you. This is just mass appeal, young buck, party animal, projection monster. I need all the attention in the world. That's why I'm wearing this fragrance in the high heat. Performs outstanding off the skin. It's loved by tons of people. It's overly sweet sometimes, but trust me, once the alcohol sets in, nobody's gonna care about the sweetness. They're just gonna want to sniff on the neck and really ask you for a fake phone number. Sometimes I don't wanna be raunchy. I want a little bit of classiness. And when I want classiness, I pull out Chanel, Allure Edition Blanche. I like to call this one Soft Citrus. Hello Vibes. It's got the name Chanel, so you know it's gonna be sexy and delicious. Slightly creamy. There's a little bit of an exotic fruit. Sometimes I get this passion fruit kind of essence from this fragrance off of my skin, which is really unusual. It's definitely not listed in the notes, but I get a little bit of this passion fruit, who will it you know, that type fragrance with like on the rocks, just delicious. It's either that or the old man, the Biragua card, just fucking shaving the ice with that big brick. How do they fit that big brick in their freezer? Is it an external free? Like, I don't even know, cause these dudes live in the hood and they don't make no money. So how is it? I don't know. I respect them and I love them. They're needed in the summer and this just gives me that grown man vibe, trying to revisit his youth in the hood and have one of those little cups and shit just to see the progress in life and see that I've stepped up to the Chanel levels from fragrances like, well, this one, Versace, Blue Jeans. My youthful gem. 
the forgotten juice, the one that I have not smelled in over a decade. I happen to revisit it and realize that this is absolutely amazing for those who have never tried it, especially in the hot weather. This is such a fun, playful fragrance that doesn't have a childish vibe to it. It actually can be very versatile when it comes to the different demographics of ages and really has a fun, unique quality that none of these freshies really have to offer. Notes like juniper berry and anise, as well as the citric nuances, the bergamots, and all those other notes that you really associate with a freshie fragrance. This has a little bit of a different vibe that I think people should really appreciate because it's still in the $20 space. Performance is actually fairly decent. I've worn it once since I purchased it, which was a couple of videos ago, and I loved wearing it every second. So I feel that this is absolutely ill for the summertime. Last and certainly not least, a newer acquisition in my collection was absolutely shocking as well as it smelled and performed, and it's not what I actually expected. Jimmy Choo Man Ice. I just recently dropped a video on this fragrance. I recommend you guys check it out because this took me by complete surprise. Pretty fucking gorgeous. Love how this shit smells. I know it has a presentation similar to the other ones, but really does not have the same DNA as the other ones. This doesn't come off as that Italian icy boring bitch. This is something very bright, citrusy, kind of cocktailish with a little bit of a boozy vibe, and it smells absolutely spectacular with some decent performance on the skin. Jimmy Choo Man Ice might be one of the most hidden gems in this joint, next to like Versace blue jeans because nobody's checking for it. These are 10 fragrances in the designer space that are not only affordable, that are sexy, hit all factors. You got mass appeal, you got youthful, you got varies in that age bracket, you got corporate chic, you got poppy shampoo, you got that drug dealer chic, you got a little bit of everything in this top 10 list. You're welcome, America. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. Enjoy your summer. Let me see you in your mankinis and your assless chaps, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey.